Do you know your birthstone? If you're like many people, you have a general idea of what birthstones are. However, you might not know the history behind them. While a gold birthstone necklace makes an excellent gift or a beautiful addition to your wardrobe, it's even more interesting once you learn about your birthstone's history. Where did the birthstones originate? The idea of birthstones goes all the way back to ancient times. In the book of Exodus written sometime around 600 to 400 BC, we get a description of the breastplate of Aaron, which was worn by the Israelites' high priests. The breastplate had 12 stunning gemstones to represent all 12 tribes of Israel. Not all of them are the same as the current birthstones, but sapphire and aquamarine have remained part of the 12 birthstones. In later years, the origin of birthstones was connected to the 12 zodiac signs. Each month of the year had its own zodiac sign, and each of these zodiac signs has its traits. These traits are typically the same as the month's birthstones traits. The current birthstones originate in Poland and have remained the same since 1912. The stones were dedicated to each month according to the National Association of Jewelers, and are considered to be the traditional representation of the month. Why do the stones represent each month? Birthstones have changed throughout the centuries, generally adopting a new birthstone if the previous one becomes too rare. Some sources will list different birthstones or more than one birthstone for each month, but this is the current list. January, Garnet. Garnets are typically deep red stones the color of pomegranate seeds. They've been considered a symbol of royalty for centuries. Because of the connection to the pomegranate, the garnet represents January due to its symbolism for new beginnings. Garnets look beautiful in gold jewelry, such as gold birthstone necklaces. February, Amethyst. Amethysts are typically light to a deep purple stone that is associated with intelligence and love. Amethysts are thought to be linked to February because of their historical association with Valentine's Day and love. March, Aquamarine. Aquamarines are generally a light blue stone, sometimes with a lovely greenish tint. The color is reminiscent of the sea. They've long been used as protection for seafarers. It may be connected to the month of March for aesthetic purposes, as the gem is bright and delicate like springtime. April, Diamond. Diamonds have been popular since 4 BC, and they symbolize individuality and luxury. Since April is the month of Aries, it is thought that the diamond represents the month because of similar symbolic meanings. Diamonds are available in several colors in addition to the traditional white stone. May, Emerald. The use of emeralds in jewelry dates back to the earliest years of the ancient Egyptian era. Emeralds are thought to provide protection to the wearer and symbolize loyalty and new beginnings, which leads to its representation of May, a spring month. June, Pearl. Pearls typically represent June, although the alexandrite and moonstone are also connected to the month. Alexandrite and moonstone used to represent the month, but because of their increasing rarity, pearls have become a more popular June birthstone. July, Ruby. Rubies are typically considered the royalty of gemstones, which may be why they are associated with the month of July. July was named after royalty, the famous Roman emperor Julius Caesar. August, Peridot. August is another month that is represented by multiple birthstones. Other than Peridot, August is represented by the sardonyx and spinel. It is theorized that August is represented by Peridot because of the gems linked to the sun and the months linked to summer. September, Sapphire. While sapphires are generally associated with a deep blue color, the gemstone actually comes in a wide variety of colors. Sapphires have long been a symbol of holiness and royalty. October, Opal. Opals tend to represent purity, health, balance, and even love. Because October is considered the month of Libras, the gemstone and the zodiac sign are typically believed to be linked. Libras are generally considered to be balanced, pure, and sincere. November, Topaz. Topaz and citrine both represent the month of November. Topaz generally represents the month and is linked to strength and loyalty, traits of the month's zodiac sign, Scorpio. December, Tanzanite. Tanzanite is the primary birthstone for December, but zircon and turquoise also represent the month. Tanzanite is related to December's zodiac sign, Sagittarius, and typically symbolizes contentment or understanding. Find your birthstone today. Birthstones are fascinating, and birthstone jewelry makes a wonderful gift for any occasion. Now that you know the history of your birthstone, you can appreciate its beauty even more.